Okay, I know what you guys are thinking. I said I was going to show off everything that I was doing so you could see where I end up. But then I realized after last episode, the in-between stuff was uh, quite boring. Uh, for the most part, there was pretty much nothing going on but dialogue. I did do a bit. <laughs> you can see where we are. We are in Winterhold. And yes, episode two, we are about to run through Sarthal. It's going to be a fun time. We got the, the scrolls, so it shouldn't be as bad. We did join the college. Uh, we did that. We also... Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and tick that because we're going to eventually do that. I uh, didn't join the Dawn Guard, but I went to the Dawn Guard. As you can see, we have the Dawn Guard War Axe. Uh, the other thing I got is I got really lucky, and I went to go do the Helm of Winterhold uh, quest. And he sent me to Hella's Folly, which there's no enemies. So I was like, sweet. That's pretty cool. So we got the Helm of Winterhold, turned that in, and then we brawled Ranmere to make him pay his tab, and then we gave him alcohol, because that's how you do it. And that was helping our three people, because joining the college is one of those. And we got the Blade of Winterhold. I might go in there and fix that at some point. But yeah, it's the Axe of Winterhold. Uh, this is a fantastic weapon for this build. One, look at the damage. Two, look at the enchantment on this Atronach stone. Oh, and I grabbed a Staff of Lightning Bolts in Colette's room. Just sitting on her shelf. Uh, we are following Talos. We have to steal less than 10 items. So if I go here into my crime right now, uh, did I pass it up? Item stolen, item something. Item stolen three. Not everything counts even when you're stealing it. It's kind of funny actually. Going to Hellas Folly, there's an Argonian there. He's uh, actually one of the. one of the um, contracts for the Dark Brotherhood. And you have to actually steal from him in order to get the helm. So it's like he stole the helm of Winterhold. It's pretty funny. Yeah, I figured episode two Sarthal would be a little bit of fun. I did go and grab the Flame Atronach scroll over in the rift. So we do have a handful of scrolls here. I'm just going to favorite these. I want to try and get away with only using maybe one. But we'll see how things go. Yeah, I don't know if I'm going to favor any of these. I might just, like, open up to my scrolls menu. Be the way I do that. Also got some potato soup going. And a potion of regen. Okay. Let's, uh, let's hop into this. Oh, and we did collect a few insights from doing all, like, these little miscellaneous things. Uh, oh, I also traveled up to Serethi Farm. Um, right over here from Hartwood Mill, I went up to Redwater Den, and then over to Serethi Farm. Got a bunch of Nern roots. So, probably after this episode, we're going to collect the rest of the ingredients well, we need in order to get uh, the potions from Ingun. Which I'll probably show that off because not everybody knows about that one. Thanks to uh, Jirlin for opening that up to me. Can't remember it, who it was. There was a Requiem Dead is Dead player that died going right there. I think it was actually uh, just Wildy. Okay. Don't actually need their stuff there. Oh, I do need to toggle enchantment. And I need to put this necklace on. I don't have any other, like, fire and forget, or whatever, the uh, fire spells. I don't have it, or anything that I can shoot at it. Okay, uh, we don't need the enchantment quite yet in here. And because of that, I'm actually going to use this axe because it does more damage. Hold, mage, and listen ah, well. I don't know why I'm swinging. <laughs> I don't think I can actually hurt him. Judgment has not been passed, as you had no way of knowing. Judgment will be passed. Yeah, because we had gotten those insights, just to show off levels real quick, we are almost level four. 
I uh, got a couple points into Conjuration. We did get Heavy Armor to 25 and One Handed to 25. And picked up those perks. Next perk's going to be uh, the Power Attack Penetrating Strike perk. Because yeah. that's still too much stamina for my liking. You, mage, and you alone have the potential to prevent disaster. Okay. Come on. Yes, we get it. Order is watching. We also got healing hands from Feralda for joining oh, yeah. the college. What just happened? Which is pretty cool. That'll help I'm later on. Can you tell me more about what you... the Sigic Order and they... the Sigic? Perhaps now. Please do be careful. Who knows what we're going to find? Actually, now that I'm thinking about it, the damage on the Dawn Guard Axe is probably better because it's silver. I just realized that Tolfir is going to be a lot more useful now that Absorb spells work on Draugr. Oh, my ward broke because of Tolfir's. I really need to <laughs> fix those effects so they're no longer the Mage Armor spells. I need to remove those uh, shaders or whatever. That looks awful. Okay, I'm probably going to want my enchantment in this room. I did grab a bunch of the soul gems that were laying around in the college. Mostly just so I can recharge whatever I need to. Okay. Let's see here. Purify. Guardian Circle. Yeah, I don't know if I want to use that quite yet. Okay, this guy's gonna be a little scary. Um, I am going to Guardian Circle here then. Oh shit. Okay, yeah, Tolfteer, you keep doing that, and I'll keep smacking him. <laughs> I'm just waiting for the shells here. Okay, I don't need my enchantment on anymore. There's no sense in wasting it. Oh, that was scary. I suppose we could let him free. Make it a little bit more fair. As long as Tolfdeer wants to come over here and help. Okay, Tolfdeer. <laughs> oh my god, Tolfdeer is just harassing him now. <laughs> this is hilarious. Tolfdeer's so mean. <laughs> Every time he gets up, Tolfdeer's is like, no, sit the fuck down. Hey! Tolfdeer! Calm down! Why the hell did I get hit by that? Yeah, cut that shit out. Oh, I was hoping for a honed. Honed would actually be pretty cool. We need to play it careful in here. Hey, what, you're, you're gonna follow me in here? Okay. Come on, bud. Let's go. Wait a second. Oh, is he gonna go back through? Damn. I was gonna say, if he stays in here, I'll just drag the other Draugr over here. Works for me. I get some absorb off of that, which is nice. He backs up into the... Oh gosh. Okay, I actually need to go up and take care of the, uh, the archer here.
might need to toggle my enchantment just to take care of this guy. stamina here. Okay, there's one down. It's the two hitter. more hit should put him on his knees, but this guy's gonna get involved. Okay, there we go. Wait, my enchantment. Alright, there we go. Looks like his sword's enchanted as well. Indeed. Alright, there we go. Ancient Nord Sword of Chills. Unfortunately, it wasn't Honed One. Honed One I probably would have taken. Okay, that wasn't too bad. Black Soul Gem? Is that a filled Black Soul Gem too? Jeez, man. Crazy soul gem luck. Yeah, we're not going to be able to open chests, unfortunately. I think enchantment is, yeah, deactivated. I want it deactivated. Oh my god. I did not want to get hit by those traps. Oh. I need to conserve some of my magicka. Actually, I think in here I'm going to need it. close. Oh, man. Might be a little bit harder than I bargained for. I think we only have, like, one more room where we have to fight alone. And then it's just the big bad boy. Which at that point, I'm, I'm going to drop a Frost Atronach, or a uh, Fire Atronach. And then I'm just going to run and hold my ward and let them fight it out. I'm not going to fight Jirik. Jirik is uh, a bit crazy. Alright, well I'm going to have to pause my recording real quick. Okay, sorry about that. I had to take a phone call. Where were we? <laughs> Let's see, no shout. Let's see, okay, I can. Well, I don't need my enchantment on. This is a weak draugr. Deactivated. Okay, we're good. I don't want to fight him on the stairs, though, because it's kind of hard for me to gauge the distance on their attacks. That one felt a little too close for comfort. Okay, I believe it is now just the final room. I feel like there's a really high chance for finding rings. Oh, wait. 
Do I have something to deal with this? Why do I always forget about this? Those explosions are pretty quiet. It's kind of surprising. Man, I need to not change that one. There we go. Yeah, so this final room, a little more challenging. Um, I don't want to use too many of these scrolls, but I will use what I have to in order to survive. Okay. I don't think I have a frost potion resist, do I? No. Shit. Wasn't paying attention. Let's go. Yeah, don't die to that. <laughs> we get a uh, nice... Oh, whoa. I did not realize you don't lose magic on hit with the Galder amulet. Uh, that's really good. I don't think I'm actually going to be doing the Galder quest, but I'll go ahead and take this and read it anyways. Be prepared to defend yourself. God, Dolph, dear, you look awful. I really need to fix that. It's... From the uh, Immersive Sounds Compendium and Audio of Skyrim Overhaul patch for F Tweaks that does this. I, don't dare I know Forn's fixed it internally, but I need to fix it in my version. Okay, so a couple things we got here. We got a sick amulet. This is going to help us not lose magic on hit, which I didn't even realize. I was really just going to stick to using the Sarthal amulet, but this is better. <laughs> this is way better. And we also got an upgrade for our staff. Slightly better than our lightning bolts one, but I might as well use up our lightning bolts and then we'll eventually switch to this. This does give you a slight boost to magic and magic region, which is pretty cool. Other than that, that was a pretty fun, pretty fun dungeon, right? We really only used like what did we only use one of the scrolls? Yeah, I mean, the one flame astronaut definitely carried us through that last room. It's practically necessary. Uh, undying breath can ignore lowered movement costs or slower movement. Uh, breathe underwater. Cool. That's all I needed to read. Breathe underwater. Okay, so I can put this back on one. And then increase skill. Uh, we can go mage. Conjuration. So pretty much we've got our heavy armor and our one-handed where we want it for a while. Actually, I don't even know why I leveled one-handed to 25. That was a waste of points. That's okay. What we need to focus on now is Conjuration to 50. We need to be able to summon our own Flame Atronox and not rely on a, a scroll or a staff. Unless we find a staff. If we find a staff of Flame Atronox, whew. I will be so happy. Okay, well, I don't know what I'm doing next. I need to think about that. So I'll just cut here and get back to the next part of the video. Before we move on to doing some bandit bounties, I went ahead and collected the rest of the Nern Roots and the Death Bell and the... Uh, Nightshade. So just to show you guys like how I got how I get it all so easily is in Riften you get a few Nern roots. You also get uh, 
some nightshade here and then in between windhelm and riften you actually get the exact amount of nightshades you need morthal has all of the death bells you need has more than 20 and you also get some nern roots there and then all of the rest of the nern roots come from a serethi farm and uh, white run plains up like this area there's a handful of uh, nern roots and then i went and got the one near riverwood there's also some more over this way towards Falkreath, and there's actually camp over here there's like four nern roots so it's really easy to actually get the 20. Uh, but once you get 20 of everything of those three i'm a sp master El my errant formulas have caught to restore mass am i sensing that you may be interested in that means more time for my experiments and oh, here's yes, your nern root samples here's Perfect. your nightshade this is just what i needed Good. here's your death bell my experiments are at a critical stage and these are just what i need to finish that was the last yes. of the ingredients don't master forget to El tell you that i feel i open Feel free to take what you need from time to time. And now you get access to her lovely chest. So. Also, three insights. Not bad. Throw those into conjuration. And her chest is right back here. Wow. Eight powders of ice? Jeez, that's going to make a Vunch and Zell freaking cakewalk. Uh, yeah, so this regenerates like every three days. Um, more often than not, I end up with like remarkable healings too, but hey, decent amount of healing potions. You have a chance at getting like the fortify enchantings, all that kind of stuff. A little bit of insights, hey, remarkable tonics, really good. So take it all, sell what you don't need, and then come back three days later, get the rest. So yeah. Just a really nice thing that you can take advantage of. And that doesn't level us up. All right, on to some bandit bounties. Okay, so we are moving on to our bandit bounties now. And something I forgot to mention earlier in the episode is that, yes, I am showing the iron armor that we're wearing now. Just because I didn't want it to look like I was wearing robes. I'd rather show off that fact that I am wearing heavy armor. But if I do come across any heavy armors that I'm wearing that look like absolute doo-doo, then I'll probably use Skyrim Outfit System and put on some nicer looking heavy armor. Okay, well, I was hoping to actually the wolf fight the archer, but I guess this works too. Enough. Need to get some... Well, archer does a little bit of damage, don't they? What are you doing? Can't seem to like shield cancel as quickly without a shield or block cancel, like I should say, because you can still like cancel attacks with wards like this. It just doesn't seem as responsive. I do have potato soup. And a, I put up my remarkable tonic of stamina. Just because we're going to be going into places where we're fighting a lot of enemies at once. So I figured this would help. Chilling oil. Put something on. Just to get these kills a little faster. The good thing is, now that we have the Blade of Winterhold, we can actually absorb some Magicka back if we need some. The poison might just outright deal with him. Okay, that was a little scary. Yeah, it's time that we start looking for armor upgrades as well, because we are just wearing the iron. And I did have a plan for where I want to go get some armor upgrades. 
I just forgot to grab the quest for it, so I did grab Uttering Hill, Stony Creek, and Crags Lane. I need to grab Lost Knife. The only thing is it didn't pop up as an option, but I know another way to get the quest for Lost Knife, or a quest for Lost Knife. You can talk to the uh, captain of one of the ships down there. I'm actually going to put on... I'm not going to turn the enchantment on, but I'm just going to have this on here. In case I want to switch over to some staves. Like this. That didn't... Wait, I don't have the enchantment on, do I? I gotta be careful in case they like come up from the backside over here. Damn, I really needed that wolf to do more. that he came up this way. Okay, that was terrifying. I kind of got unlucky with the potions that I got from uh, Ingun. Before, when I've taken those potions, I've gotten like... A lot of healing potions. I didn't get that many this time around. But that's okay. We got a decent amount. Okay, we're still aggroed. Thing we have that freaking ward. Oh, some graphical glitches there. Uh, yeah, that ward saves our ass so many times. It's a nice, it's a nice spell, to say the least. Maybe going shields would have been better, even though it would have been spread a little more thin. Because even with this ward, I'm still taking a lot of damage. But getting a uh, better armor is going to help us there. That's what we're working on right now. Switch over to increase skill. Four insights. I'll take three. Three's still pretty good. I don't want to read that yet. I'll save my skill books. So why not? All right. So we can go into conjuration. Conjuration twenty nine. More into stamina. Pretty soon we'll be going into health. I think just uh, three more levels into stamina and then the rest of it goes into health. Okay, so we have everything we need there. Now it's time to start working on Conjuration. And Apprentice doesn't really do anything for us yet. There's no really good summons. Our summons don't last long enough. It's kind of part of the problem. So we are going to go with Stabilized Binding. So they what, were like eight seconds before. Now it's 23 seconds on the Spirit Wolf, which will be really good versus Archers. 
Okay, next camp. Alright, we're here at Crags Lane. Time to die. Oh, come on. Yeah, I couldn't really dodge that. But we are in heavy armor, so we're not really made for dodging. Uh, I did fight one of those, like, random crackhead bandits on the side of the road. My carry weight's getting pretty close. And they had uh, steel plate gauntlets and some steel boots. So we did grab those. Got a little armor upgrade. Take care of these wolves just just in case, because these guys, if you take them outside, they can actually open those cages. Okay. These enemies in here are super annoying The with the pickaxes, because all they want to do is like sit there and hold block and bash. Like, forces you to power attack, almost. Now ain't this a surprise. Oh, I yield, I yield. Oh. I'm just thinking... I think I'm going to use this. And have them fight each other. We've got all this utility. We need to start using it. Really? You can get up here? I believe they're able to get up here. The butcher scares me. At least it's just a warhammer. But still. Okay. That was terrifying. Steel plate helmet upgrade. Oh shit, I need to get rid of that. Oh, I'm still over encumbered. You know what? It's probably all these fucking potatoes I got on me. I'm gonna need to figure out something to do with all this carry weight. Um, did I not auto pick the uh, the lock? Ah, phone call. All right, that's okay. I will grab this chest here in a second, and then I'll figure out my carry weight and. Move on to Stony Creek next. Okay, hopefully no more interruptions from phone calls. I doubt it, but we'll hope for it. Here in Stony Creek. Can't see... where the enemies are. Okay, I didn't like the look of that. Exploding arrow. Thank god that one was fire. Come on. Shoot your shot. It's so nice playing an Atronaut character as a Dunmer because you have the ward that you just don't have to worry about like eating up Magicka that you won't be able to regenerate. Okay. The other guy was in close quarters. And I'm trying to not be like too summon happy until we get. we get Mesa Molag Ball. No! 
Cool. And that's how we get to deal with tricksters. Staff of lightning bolts. I have no freaking carry weight for this shit. I'm going to have to come back and figure out what I'm going to do <laughs> with all this loot. Because I don't know. Oh, there was four insights in the Crag's Lane chest, which is really sick. Okay, let me just go kill this last guy, level up. Then I'm going to have to figure out where I'm, what I'm going to do with all this loot. I might level up uh, some points into health now so we can get some extra carry weight. But I also need a bunch of gold so I can do the unearthed quest. Because, spoiler alert, we're doing the unearthed quest. He swings fast. Damn red guard. And we can win the trade war, though. Okay, I can't open that. That's fine. Let's see here. Nothing. Oh, actually, bottle of, a bottle of water. I would like that. Oh, actually, wait. We still have our potion up. Cool, so we can go loot everything. And we have increased skills. We're not going to do it. It's supposed to be fixed in the next update, but I don't, I don't want to do it. Not even to peak. Just more likely to fall into temptation at that point. So this will bring us to 38 conjuration. Oh man. We need to hop on this uh, unearthed quest like as soon as possible. I did not realize we'd be getting up level up this fast. Okay, so it's apprentice conjuration and then the next perk going into adept. Um there's not really much to grab here. I guess I get Warhound and Bear. Warlock's not going to do much for me because it doesn't last long enough. How much do these cost? Bear costs so much. And they don't last very long. Like, I think I'll just stick to... Warhound might be better wolf, but it costs so much right now. Yeah, they're not even worth casting those. Okay, so next is Stony Creek. I realize I said it's time for Stony Creek, even though we just did Stony Creek. It's time for Lost Knife. That's what I meant. Sold off some stuff. Shot my bud. So should not have let him hit me. I don't have a lot of healing potions, so I have to be a little careful here. I say as I get stuck on this little thing right here and take a hit. Love it. Three bottles of water. Get a little fortify healing action here. I will take it. I know there's a few healing potions in this dungeon, which will help us out. Got a few more mountain flowers, too. Might as well munch on those. Jesus. I hate the archers up at the top. I can't see him because of the lighting. wasting charge on this. Alright, there we go. At least we dealt with him. The other one's melee. I'm not worried about it. At least uh, the staff of uh, Golderson doesn't lose a bunch of charge. Or doesn't lose charge very fast. 
Something I didn't realize that uh, three tweaks does is that you do more damage when you uh, are uh, casting a spell. So the Dun reward means you do more damage. A little overkill to be using this, but yeah. Uh, that's not what we wanted. Okay. We've got good slash resist. Helping this fight. I think I actually want to absorb some magicka here. Oh my god. That guy did a lot of damage. Very annoying. Yeah, we're gonna need some some summons in the uh, the next room. I think there's still somebody up here. Two people up here. I was way too close. I mean, it wouldn't have killed me, but it would have done a bunch of damage that I don't really want to be taking right now. Okay, now we can move on to the challenging room. Because of all the freaking archers. So annoying. I'm gonna turn my enchantment on here because I'm probably gonna need to summon a couple times. This dungeon can be so annoying because of all the archers in the back. And I think that was like my last healing potion almost. Oh, it's really frustrating. I don't want to have to summon a flame atronach. But I might summon a frost atronach. Yeah, I've got, like, no healing going into the last room. I'm just gonna have to rely on my summons here. I guess I should have been using Gadnors. I keep forgetting that I have this thing, honestly. way this dungeon works whenever you come back to the loading screen like everybody's dispersed and I think they follow back through I don't know it's really weird this dungeons really really weird I know we can grab some healing potions up here though I gotta go. Hold on one second. I'm gonna have to start turning my phone off whenever I'm doing recordings, I guess. Oh, I forgot about this chest being adept. Dang it, this is not where I wanted to go then.
Okay. I see a archer over here I want to take care of. Wait, my enchantment is toggled. Okay, never mind. It was off. Oh my god. This is not where I wanted to fight. God. I think all the other enemies that were in the previous room are now coming in. I'm gonna have to come back with the master key to open this chest. Are there multiple? Pretty sure there's multiple people left. Maybe not. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to go buy and loot everything and come back with a master key. And uh, that pretty much sums up today's episode. Sorry for all the interruptions. I literally have another phone call coming in right now. Oh boy, what a day. I will catch you guys in the next one. See ya.